Hello and welcome back to Build a 100K Pipeline in 90 Days video series. My name is CJ. I'm a training coordinator on the tech training team at Keller Williams. In the last video, I mentioned a feature that can keep you accountable to following up with your contacts and your leads. Task in command make it easy to see what you need to accomplish for your business. These tasks come from smart plans, opportunity checks, or tasks that maybe you manually enter into the system. Now, once you have created a task or have some that generate from a smart plan, you'll be able to do certain actions to manage them as well. Right now, when I get into the task applet, we can see a bunch of information and insights into our business. We can see in the first tab that these are my tasks that I still need to do. And these tasks could have been manually created by me or by a smart plan. But either way, it's keeping me organized and ensuring that nothing is going to fall through the cracks. And that's the big value and win for you. I'm also able to see what I've completed, what has been archived and expired. Maybe I want to revisit something that I've done in the past or something that I missed. So those are helpful as well. Let's go ahead and create a new task for ourselves where we need to reach out to one of our contacts. What I love about the task app is that it's connected to our contacts, keeping everything together and purposeful. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create new task. So as you can see, I can associate multiple contacts to this task, which is really cool. There's not a limit on how many contacts that I can have associated here. We'll mark this as a call task for today. Task name, whatever I intend it to be. We're going to say we need to call all these contacts here because we got a really cool uh, event for our past clients. We'll call it a VIP event here. We put a little description there. I put a priority level on it, which is really cool. Um, I can change this up, whether it's low, medium, or high priority. And then I'm going to put a, a date and time stamp on here just to let me know when does this need to be completed by. I'm kind of giving myself a deadline. So once we have this uh, completed here, I'm just going to go ahead and click Create Task. So there's a couple of things I can do to find the task that I'm looking for. I can use the search bar here if I do know the task name. I can take it one step further and use this filter option here. This is where I can link together a task type, task status, priority level. A really cool thing I want to also point out here is the custom date range uh, that I can also utilize as well. Or I can just use these quick filters. There's color, they're color coordinated here on the right hand side. Um, and let's go ahead and see what to do tomorrow. I can click into one of these tasks. Let's go ahead and click this first task here. And this is going to pull up information connected to that contact or lead. Now, why this is important is because as I'm making these phone calls, I can look at not only the task description on the side, uh, on the left side there, but on the right side, I can see more information about this contact, whether it's tags that are going to help me out or even client info here at the bottom. So as I'm talking to her about this event coming up, um, maybe I say, hey, it's dog friendly because you've got two dogs there. Hey, we got a bounce house for your, your three kids there. Um, and then keeping in mind to those other notes. So this is going to help me as I'm making each uh, call there. And as you can see, um, I can complete the task from here as well. Make the phone call, simply complete the task. We can also bulk complete tasks as well. So I can click on this little box here on the left hand side. And we'll see, we'll get some options to complete all of them or archive all of them all at once, giving me more speed to lead here. Now on the far right hand side as well, I'm able to go to the actions area, click on the three dots or ellipses. And from here, we can individually edit a task, reschedule it if we need to, add another note, or even archive the task here as well. And when I complete a task, I can just go ahead and click on the check mark on the far right hand side. And notice that we're getting these options here because it's a call task. Now, if we have a regular task, we're not going to get these options with this call task. It'll let us know what was the outcome. So we can select did the answer. Uh, did we talk to them? Leave a voicemail. This is what makes that call task unique. So we can select here that we did talk to them and complete the task. All right, so now you have a great tool to keep you accountable and staying on top of your contacts and leads. 
At this point, we have a foundation for building a strong database and we can communicate with it systematically. But what about lead generation? In the next couple of videos, my teammate Ryan will be discussing how we can utilize commands, marketing hub to power your business with new leads. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at learncommand at kw.com.